Oh hey there! This video is here to list a few of the many health benefits of the essential but very much underappreciated mineral called boron. It's actually considered as a non-essential mineral. But I hope after this video you might leave with another perspective. If you want to know more about the basics like why no one is getting enough boron and in which foods you can find your adequate supply, then be sure to check my previous video titled Boron My Secret Weapon or the video that will come soon after this one titled Boron and Vegans. The videos can also be found in the description below. So let's talk boron. It's commonly known for its hormone regulating properties. But it is a lot more than that. It's important for bone formation, cancer reduction, and it even helps prevent other vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Do I have your attention now? Okay, good, because you better listen. There is so much to cover that I decide to give the health benefits their own video. But even then, I only have time to list five benefits. So without further ado, here are the five things I'll be going over and let's talk about the numerous health benefits of boron. One, it helps with brain function. Now, if you'd ask me, this guy, this total bro, what do I think is the most important body part for being happy and successful in life? I would definitely say it's your brain. Well, boron can help you a lot with being a more sharp and responsive person. Data from three studies suggest that higher intakes of boron are correlated with improved manual dexterity, eye-hand coordination, attention, perception, encoding, short and long-term memory compared to lower intakes. That's pretty cool if you ask me. I mean, who doesn't want to have a more functional brain? Now, from what I can tell, these studies are typically done on older people. But increased brain function is something I personally noticed as well. When I started to eat more boron-rich foods. I start to become significantly sharper at everyday tasks and I feel that it improved my ability to analytically assess and learn new things. By my own anecdote, I'll say that the brain benefits are very noticeable to me and appear to be long term. 2. It prevents vitamin D3 deficiency. Vitamin D3 is a steroid hormone that is humans typically synthesize from cholesterol when our skin gets exposed to the sunlight. It's very important for bone mass, but it also plays an important role in preventing heart disease, depression, and much, much more. The highest quantities are typically formed in the mid-back area. It's uh, here. However, sun exposure is not a given you will get an adequate amount or can even reverse your vitamin D3 deficiency, as this study shows here. Even surfers that spend hours in the sun every day can be deficient in vitamin D3. However, add a little bit of boron, as little as 3 milligrams, in the form of sodium borate, and what do you think happens? This study decided to find that out. A clinical trial in which 50 middle-aged men and women were placed on a low boron diet which was also marginal in magnesium and copper status for 63 days with an intake of 0.23 mg of boron on a 2000 calorie basis showed to have low vitamin D3 status. The subject's D3 status rose significantly after supplementing 3 mg of boron in the form of sodium borate for an additional 49 days. Blood levels of D3 rose from an average of 44.9 to 62.4, increasing their levels by 39%. 39%! That's a fucking A, mate. That can be the difference between being deficient and far from deficient, without having to consider anything else. And similar results were seen in an open pilot study of 13 middle-aged individuals predetermined to be vitamin D deficient. With levels lower than 12 nanograms per milliliter. Levels of D3 were studied during boron supplementation of 6 milligrams for 60 days using calcium fructoborate, which is a boron containing complex that occurs naturally in fruit. The study took place in Serbia with supplementation beginning in October and concluding by January. In other words, the study occurred during the fall, transition to winter, a time when vitamin D status would be expected to worsen. 
Yet with boron supplementation, D3 levels rose significantly, with an average of 20%. So this is with a type of boron that's usually uh, found in fruits. So it occurs naturally and it produced a 20% increase. That alone is enough to prevent deficiency for many, but their levels increased by that much in winter time, in a time where vitamin D3 levels typically drop. We usually just use our stores that we, uh, we've built up during the summer in that time. So how does this work? You might wonder, well, boron increased the biological half-life and bioavailability of vitamin D and sex hormones. In simple terms, boron makes sex hormones and vitamin D last longer in the body. This might be especially interesting for people that suffer from winter depression or vitamin D3 non-responders. And there is some evidence that suggests boron supplementation would be beneficial for sad non-responders. But I think everyone should aim for 6 milligrams of boron a day if only for this reason alone no matter if you are a non-responder or not numero tres regulates hormones and potential to boost testosterone if you want to learn more about the available signs on boron and testosterone i recommend you to watch the videos linked in the description below but in short boron has been shown to lower SHGB levels in the blood, otherwise known as sex hormone binding globulin. If these levels are high, then there will be less free testosterone in the body. And as a man, you want to have more free testosterone. Dosages of 10 milligrams a day seem to uh, increase free testosterone by as much as 28.3%, which if you didn't know is quite significant. But there's more to it than that. To learn more, check out the videos titled Boron, My Secret Weapon and Boron and Vegans. 4. Bone and Joint Strength, Mineral Regulation, Magnesium and Calcium Absorption. Boron is part of the whole Magnesium, Calcium, Phosphor, K2, D3 matrix. Pretty much the compounds that are most important for human bone health. Which means one depends on the other and one will work better in combination with another. It's a bit more complicated than that, but I already showed you what it did for vitamin D3. Well, non-surprisingly, boron is also very important for the absorption and de deposition of magnesium in the bones. Now, you might not know this, but magnesium pretty darn important most of us do not get enough of magnesium and therefore it's a good thing if we can improve our absorption rate in the body when it comes to better absorption of minerals in the body the same thing has been found for calcium so has boron supplementation shown to lead to significantly lower calcium levels in urine Clearly, boron plays an important role in not only our hormone regulation, but also our mineral metabolism. And yet, we don't consider boron as essential. Right. Boron might also play a significant role in joint health, as this study states. Since 1963, evidence has accumulated that suggests boron is a safe and effective treatment for some forms of arthritis. The paper also notes that areas where more boron is con consumed, arthritis incidence is significantly lower compared to areas where less boron is consumed. It's also indicated that boron offers significant relief for uh, many already affected by the condition. This suggests that boron might be necessary to ensure joint health. If this is true, then it also makes it more worthwhile for athletes as joints are often affected by intense physical activity. 5. Anti-cancer effects. Yes, a growing body of research shows promising results of boron's anti-carcinogenic properties. Dietary boron seems to be inversely correlated with prostate cancer risk and could lower your chances by at least 52%, even at small doses. In men who supplied their diets with more than 1.8 mg of boron saw a 52% decrease in risk compared to the average intake of 0.9 mg a day. 
no improvements were found with dosages lower than 1.70 milligrams a day. Now 1.8 milligrams of boron is very easy to get if you eat the right foods. But because no one eats the right foods, the average intake is below a milligram. Guys could easily halve the risk for prostate cancer if they would eat as little as a handful of raisins a day. But what about women? Well, there's an epidemiological study. Cervical cancer is the second most frequent cancer in women worldwide. Yet in Turkey it ranks only ninth, which is two to five times lower than in Europe and North America. That's quite a significant difference. Now the text does mention other factors also play a role here, but they took the cervical smears of 1059 women of low socioeconomic status to check if any had cytopathological indications of cervical cancer. All of them lived in Turkey, but 472 women lived in boron rich areas, while the other 587 uh, were living in boron poor areas. The women in the boron poor areas still got more than the average westerling at 1.26 milligrams a day. The women in the boron rich areas, however, got a whopping average of 8.41 milligrams a day. That's a lot, by the way. You can expect that these people don't only eat plants, but they still get more than twice as much as the average vegan here. The study even seems to suggest that water is a significant source of boron in these areas, which it certainly isn't in Western society. Just goes to show how much the soil has been depleted here. So what did the findings say? Well, none of the women uh, from the boron rich regions had any cytopathological indications of cervical cancer. But cytopathological findings were present in 15 women from the boron poor areas. Again, that's quite a huge difference. Probably more than boron alone is at play here. It's my guess that the soil in these areas is rich in general. But there are many more studies that show a clear link between boron and cancer risk. It's too much to cover in this video, so check out the link in the description below. Six other benefits. When it comes to the benefits of boron, there are too many to list in a single video, which is why I linked a few articles you might find interesting in the description below. I hope this knowledge is helpful. It probably is, as almost everyone benefits from reduced cancer risk and higher vitamin D3 status. Whatever diet you do, make sure your nutrition is as complete as possible. And know that boron is a very important part to the whole puzzle. I thank you all for watching. Eat those raisins and have a nice day everyone.